We are in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Friday morning. She's here, Natalia Piva Neves is here. Oh, nice is the uh, is the restaurant located right like two minutes from here in East Providence. Seafood rice is on the menu on this Friday right. morning. And everybody, everybody who walks in here is like, oh my God, it smells fantastic. I know, that's because it is fantastic. It's good what do you mean it it's smells? It, well, it does. It's good, to, it's good to see you, first of all. Yes, um, tell everybody what we need to put this together. All right, so you can really mix up your seafood, but for uh, us at the restaurant, this is what we usually go to. Um, it's a seafood rice, but we do like to have fish in it. In this case, we're using swordfish and tuna. Got it. Use what you have. Just make it local. Make it a great little mix-up. We're using fresh Rhode Island local squid. We have fresh Rhode Island little neck mussels we have shrimp and you're going to put it all together in a really really nice saute the saute is really what brings it together okay. I don't like to use bouillon cubes oh I know I'm gonna get killed out there I know it's <laughs> fine the bouillon cube people you want to use it I don't like it right, I don't right. use it right so we build the flavors in the frying pan with lots of onions lots of garlic and you're gonna build your flavors like that and I feel that that's how you should build your flavors throw in the rice right throw in the seafood stock and let it go and then what, what's the spice because it looks right, like it looks like it's I mean, it looks great. It is. So this is called açafrão, and açafrão is saffron from Portugal. Okay. And of course, being the great Portuguese girl that I am, I had to smuggle it in from I Portugal <laughs> in my sh in my sapach. You're giving you, you're giving your secrets away. Aren't you? I know they don't have Just to know. Smuggling all all of your, uh, your the goods in too, and you're also here because um. The Portuguese kids are here. Portuguese Problems is a new show that's going to be on. And let too, me right? tell you something. If you know what Portuguese Problems yeah, are, right. because I know what Portuguese Problems are. She's like the queen these of Portugal. Guys, I know. <laughs> these guys have got it down. Portuguese Problems is a great, great show. These guys have been around for a long time, but right. they're really taking off, and I think it's really important to listen to what they have to say, because it is comedy at its best. You're going to be rolling. Well, I Pair it with Portuguese food. I think she's their new agent. We've got a clip that we're going to show you right now. Take it. We are back in the kitchen this morning with the one and only Natalia. We are making seafood rice. It yeah. looks delicious over here. It is delicious. It, de it looks delicious. It smells good. It's delicious. It, does smell, it always smells good when you're I here. I know. Portuguese food smells good. It does I mean, smell come good. on. It's right. all about Portuguese it's food and it's great. And it's actually pretty easy. Um, this is a great, great dish all on its own. Okay. But if you want to have it accompany something, it's great as a side dish for like a grilled sword, a beautiful piece of tuna right or at the restaurant we serve the whole black sea bass head to tail yes head to head tail, to tail. So I don't know how some other people's fish came but I know some of them came rectangular in a <laughs> box Ours comes Her, whole. Yours, right. Yours don't come like nah, that. Ours don't I come love like it. That. All right, so where um, do we start is, with this? It's fairly easy. So listen, Portugal has a lot of rice dishes. So the base of the dish yeah. is really what you need to get right. And then you can actually change it up. You don't want to do the seafood, make it chicken, make it beef, make it something. But let's start off with the stock. We're okay. going to do, oh, the saute. We're going to do some olive oil. Just pour this right pour in. Pour it right in. We're going to pour all that right. all in. You need to get all your vegetables sweating in there. I don't These want vegetables anything look so good. to burn. So we don't want it on high, we want it on very low, and we're going to just saute. You're going to continuously saute until everything comes together. Oh, sort of like so good. It already smells good. It does. It's going to come together so that it's going to be nicely sauteed, translucent vegetables, and you're not going to get it to a brown So part. that's what you're looking for, the no, translucent. Translucent, no browning. Okay. Once it gets to that translucent, then we're going to fry some of the rice some right the rice. in here. So okay. add in that rice. I'm going to add Throw the rice in my now? Yeah. Yeah, throw in the rice. We're gonna Woo! do like all that. You're gonna fry that up in there. Now we're gonna add all of our spices. Okay. Let's throw my favorite what condiment. We, what are we doing first? Pimenta moída, which is that one this right one there. Over here. Yeah. We're gonna throw that in. Okay. It's a, all just of a it? little bit. Oh, she's right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say? <laughs> No one could eat. Nobody was gonna eat it. We're gonna no be one dead. Was gonna eat. <laughs> I'm very literal here. See? I'm very Portuguese literal. problems. You see? Portuguese problems. That's what this is. That's a segment. Okay. Um, and listen, this is Portuguese saffron. I'm not even gonna touch this. I'm gonna allow you to show it's me. It's called a safrão. You just need to get this really nicely toasted. Okay. We get that. You hear it sizzling. You can hear it. And you have it to. It looks so good. Sort of like fry up the spices to get that nice browning consistency right there. You see okay. that? Yeah. And then we're going to deglaze with some 
just white gonna... wine. No, it shouldn't. We're okay. going to deglaze it with some white wine. We'll be fine because it's not like hot like that. Oh, that smells some really so good, good too. White wine. Oh, I say this all the together. time. Drink what you <laughs> cook with. Don't buy cooking wine. Drink this. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to um, stir it up? Okay. And then we're going to see how good it looks. We're yes. going to add the water. Now, oh my we God. add in all this the seafood. So, good. so we add our local Rhode Island squid. That goes in. Okay. Let's I'm going to grab something. Let's add in the Little Necks. Little Necks. This is like a hodgepodge. I feel so like you're we're... So you're just stirring. You're just going to keep like stirring, stirring everything up. up. Yep. You're just going to keep oh stirring God, it up. Oh, my God, Natalia. This looks the so shrimp. good. Isn't that great? Yes. This looks amazing. I just throw it all in. Throw it all in. Throw we like shrimp in. here. Oh. All right. So now you have to get this to cook and you okay. have to get the it's rice to cook. It's going to let it to go. Once it's getting there and you see these beautiful colors come together and the shrimp is going to change, it's going to become a little bit more pink, you're going to then add, and you see that the rice is yes, starting to- Yes, you can to, see it. Right? So at the end, I'd say let this go for like 20 minutes. Okay. Then we're going to add in all of our little necks and you're going to sort of assemble and it so that it look looks like at the end. as pretty as that. Oh, Natalia, we love when you're here. I know. Thank so you so much I. for coming. My pleasure. We're gonna, now let's eat. We're going we're gonna to eat. We're going to toss things over now to our local steals and deals.